Okay, now our table topic master Nana. Over to you, Nana, for your table topic session. Um, uh, hello everyone. Um, uh, Club President, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Good morning. Right now, you are going to have an opportunity to participate in one of the most interesting and exciting portion of a Toastmaster meeting. Uh, which is the table topic session. YMCA Toastmaster has a tradition to get five to six people to speak in a meeting, and the table topic session tries to uphold this tradition. So get ready to speak, everyone. Um, the purpose of table topic is to have member practice thinking and speaking on their feet. The skill of speaking in prop two will help you throughout your work career and also will be valuable in your home life as well. To help you practice today, I have prepared a few topics that hopefully will help you meet this goal. Before that, table topic uh, are fairly short. A table topic presentation should last from 1 to 2 minutes. Okay then, uh, we move to our next volunteer. I think I would to be our, one of our members. Um, I want to choose... Um, Nashita. Okay. Let me try. Okay, Nashita. Uh do what color do you want? I want white. White, okay. And white. Um white. Okay. The question is um when you travel, how you choose the food? It is according to the local culture or um like you you want you go somewhere uh like Ranganu what we say then uh you you choose food uh local local food or you you just eat like you eat uh at your home. That's the question. You can start now, Nashita. Okay, thank you, this was, uh, the 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 master. Okay, what food uh, will I eat during my travel? So, um, as you might not know, I am a very picky eater. I I don't eat whatever I never whatever I never eat before, and I always eat the same thing. Uh, I always eat almost the same thing. So, uh, what is the thing that I never eat? Uh, example is durian. I hate, I don't like durian. And then I don't eat nasi krabu, nasi dagang, and, and I don't eat budu because I never eat it from little. So I was uh, very conscious of my food. Literally, I will never touch anything that I never eat. And even if you force me to eat, I won't. Just imagine how my family members feel when we travel and I won't eat. They will feel very... They don't get mad, but they were very, really trying to force me to eat. But I just, I won't. Even I was very hungry. Uh, I will just drink water or maybe just only, okay, grab a bite just to uh, fill, my, fill, fill my stomach a bit. But um, I will never eat uh, anything that I never eat before. So if I uh, traveling, I will try to find a place that have uh anything that I will eat. And my family also are very understanding and they will choose a place that have a food that I can eat. So uh, because of that, I am very I am very grateful to my family. Uh, they always uh, think of me as, as well when they are trying to find a restaurant uh, during our travel. That's all from me. Thank you. Okay, this situation reminds me um of my little brother. Uh, he's he's like that. Uh he's a very picky eater. Uh but our thanks to Nashita because um she's going to, she's brave because I choose her. Everyone is volunteer uh, volunteering, but I'm just choosing her. Uh can we give an applause to her? I now would like to invite 
the first um, evaluator, which is our table topics evaluator, um, Toastmaster Julia Taha. She is the president of Shah Alam Toastmasters Club. Um, can I invite Toastmaster Julia Taha for your evaluation? Thank you. Thank you, Putri, Toastmaster of the day. Before I start, I would like to say thank you to Dr. Sabia because she invited me to visit your club for this morning in Malaysia. All right. Moving on. Uh, the third speaker, Nasha, and she chose white. What is uh, the question? When you travel, how you choose the food? Mm, you really nail it. You nail it because you are... Uh, you said about your personal story that you're a picky person, very conscious about your food. But when you say your family felt maybe guilty, but they are trying their best to provide the food that you wanted, why don't you tell me? Maybe the audience would like to know what sort of food that you're looking for, man. Doing what? Doing? Oh, I love durian so much. Uh, what you call that one? Nasi. What nasi? Mungkin nasi dagang, nasi kerabu. Gosh, nasi kerabu got lots of, uh, uh, lots of, what you call, uh, sayu. What you call? A lot of uh, salad. <laughs> that is good for us to eat. Okay. Room of improvement. I know this is your personal story. Well, Nashita, try to bluff us. Say something that you like. Tell us. I know you don't like durian. Why don't you say you like durian and tell us? I don't know whether you like or you don't like durian, but you tell us. I don't know whether you bluff or not. Because this is Toastmaster. You said what you would like to say. I know. Personal thing. It's very good because it comes from the bottom of your heart. But to me, there's no harm. By saying something else, create something, something that you want to say, what you like to eat, tell us. With that, before I do my conclusion, I would like to say for all of us to do the um, table topic, the impromptu, Normally, we follow by P, R, A, P, which is point, reason, example, and point. Or we do audio. Opinion. Reason, example, opinion. Just know what did I say? Point, reason, example, point. I missed the example. And then audio is opinion, reason, example, opinion. Try to follow this to do your impromptu speech. Thank you. Back to you, Toastmaster of the day, Putri. So thank you everyone for your participation today. I would like to now take the opportunity to uh, uh, give the uh, certificates to those who participated and also later on announce the winners of uh, the speeches and the roles today. I would like to now announce the winners for the best table topics. The best table topics goes to Toastmaster Nashita. Again, Nashita, you've been winning the table topics. Well done. Smiling. Okay. One, two, three. Amazing.